Do they really work? Welcome to another episode of Driveway Dudes. Today we're going to show you the ELM327 Bluetooth interface which it says supports all OBD2 and EOBD protocols. It comes with a disc and on the disc it says you can set it up on your PC, laptop including portable devices such as tablets and smartphones. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it up using a smartphone. Once you have the ELM327 plugged into your OBD port on your car, it'll automatically power itself up. So using, in this case I'm using an Android, put your Android on, go to the Bluetooth, switch Bluetooth on, and what it'll do then, it'll, once you press the scan, it'll search for it. And there it is there. So tap on that. Now it'll ask for a passcode or PIN number. Most of them are default by default uh, four zeros or one two three four. So we'll try one two three four. One two three four. Press done. And then press OK. And it's paired. Now this is not going to work unless you have an app. So what we'll do then is we'll just get out of that and we'll go to the Play Store. Type in OBD Scanner. And you can see it there. And you have a list of apps lots and lots of them paid and free so select the one that you want to use and we we'll go from there so I've selected a few of them and what we'll do then is we'll just pick one of them say this one here with the app loaded then you just press connect and what it'll do then it'll ask you uh, or confirm you're using Bluetooth and then to select your device so we'll have a look there and as you can see it's the OBD so we'll select that press next and it can try and connect so again you can manually I suppose select the car but we'll just go for default and you can see here then it's trying to connect what we'll do is we'll switch on the ignition and see if it helps. Ignition is now on. There we go there now with the ignition on, it's connected. Right, so what we do then is we'll start the car and we'll see then, will it read anything? <clears throat> now this is not testing the app, this is actually testing the ELM327. There's lots of other apps available, so I'm just taking one as an example, and we'll see what happens. So we'll press this one here. And it seems to be communicating. So the ELM327 seems to be doing the job. And again, it's dependent on the app that you put into it, whether it'll communicate or how it'll communicate. Thanks for watching. If you like this, give us a thumbs up and you'll find us on Facebook, Twitter, Blogger and Instagram. Thank you.